Hello, everyone, and welcome to Morning Devotions. I woke up about quarter after five, I didn't, and I had to use the bathroom, and I didn't think I was ever going to go back to sleep. I think it was about six, almost 6.30 or something like that, and I finally fell back to sleep for a while, and Kitty woke me up about nine. But she did let me sleep for a good long while. So... At least I got some more, a little more sleep. Uh, I hate that when I can't go back to sleep. I just sit there, you know, start thinking about stuff and everything. And just even though you're really sleepy, you just can't fall back asleep. I just, it aggravates me. Okay, on our prayer request, Karina's sister Laura is no better. Her lungs bleeding and has a clot. She's only thirty-seven. Also pray for her boyfriend, Jesse, and her children, Mariah, Sadie, and Jay. Pat Anderson needs prayer for the healing of her leg. Let's see. Brenda Hubbard asks for our continued prayers. Let's see. Kathy Mulligan's grandson has an unspoken request. And hmm. uh, pray that my blood pressure will start to come down more uh, and that medicine will start helping. I don't know if you have to take it for a while before it starts working or what. I know I was taking it the wrong time of day. It just said take one a day. So I was taking it in the morning. But uh, Kim from Kim Lives already sent me some information about it. And it's best to take it at night. So I was taking it the wrong time for one thing. Um, Debbie Jean has COVID-19. Pray she's better soon. Jesse has an unspoken request. Pray for Heather from the Needy Homesteader Channel. They were in a car accident. Her husband passed away. She and her two young children were badly injured. Diane Parker's eye surgery went well. Beth's niece had to go to the ER last night and is still in the hospital. Well, this was the day before last. Uh, her husband and toddler are all at home with the virus. <coughs> Colleen's friend Chris is mentally challenged and had a stroke and is in the hospital. Kim's aunt Linda is much better now. Scripture of the day comes from 1 Thessalonians 4, 9 through 12. Now about your love for one another, we do not need to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love each other. And in fact, you do love all of God's family throughout Macedonia. Yet we urge you, brothers and sisters, to do more and more and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands just as we told you, so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. All right. Devotion today is entitled, Minding My Own Business. <laughs> Years ago, my son Josh and I were making our way up a mountain trail when we spied a cloud of dust rising in the air. We crept forward and discovered a badger busy making a den in a dirt bank. He had his head and shoulders in the hole and was vis vis vigorously digging with his front paws and kicking the dirt out of the hole with his hind feet. He was so invested in his work, he didn't hear us. I couldn't resist and prodded him from behind with a long stick lying nearby. I didn't 
hurt the badger, but he leaped straight up in the air and turned towards us. Josh and I set a new world record for the 100-yard dash. I learned something from my brashness. Sometimes it's best not to poke around in other people's business. That's especially true in relationships with fellow believers in Jesus. The Apostle Paul encouraged the Thessalonians to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands. We're to pray for others and seek by God's grace to share the scriptures, and occasionally we may be called to offer a gentle word of correction. But learning to live a quiet life and not meddling into others' lives is important. It becomes an example to those who are now outside God's family. Our calling is to love each other. What happens when you meddle in other people's business? What's the first thing you should do instead, instead for others? God, keep, teach me to know what it means to love others better. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. It's nice and sunny out, but it must be cold because it's cold in here. So, I don't know. If it's real cold, I probably won't be walking uh, I'll try to walk later, but I mean, I won't be walking during morning devotions unless it's, you know, 35, 40 degrees, something like, like that. But I have a feeling it's a little cooler than that right now. But it's a beautiful day, though, which is a big plus, you know, nice to see some sunshine and uh, hopefully hear the birds out there and stuff. So uh, I'm not for sure. Yet what I'll all be doing today, um, i got to get my notes together and stuff. I know I, I have, a, I need to do Kitty's Corner today because I had to put it off for a few days for different things, you know, hauls and stuff. And, uh, and I have plans to do uh, another Ask My Tablet. I'm getting lots of questions coming in. I really appreciate those so much. Uh, <clears throat> if you've not seen it before, please check the show out. It's informative. It's funny. Uh, you just never know what uh, what A L E X A is going to say. Um, yesterday she had a rough start, but then uh, she made up for it later with some funny stuff she did. So it's well worth checking out, everyone. I'm I've been doing it for quite a while now. So, uh, like I said, if you haven't seen it, please check it out. And everybody, I hope you have a great day, and I'll be seeing you later on on morning coffee break. God bless.